So I have nuggets. Okay, so I'm doing a second video because uh, I realized I forgot some stuff in the first update. So the other thing that's happened, and this is a big one, is I have an agent. <laughs> it's really big if you're in the right world. But I kind of don't have an agent. I kind of do and I kind of don't. So my brother, Sean, in England, unofficially represents me, right? But he's too busy. So I've mentioned it before. He's got working clients, so he doesn't really... He occasionally brings my name up, and if something comes up that fits, then he'll reach out to me. And he's always there to help me with anything I need. But but I'm not his client, right? So it's an unofficial thing that I re asked if I could do just so that it looked like, you know, I could say, yes, I have representation to try and get my stuff read. But he doesn't really. So I started looking for one. Laura's been bugging me about it for months, years, actually. To find an agent, and I, I'm not very very good at that side of stuff, but I finally uh, sat down and said, all right, I'm going to blind send some emails. Because no one listens. Everyone says no, right? They don't give a shit. But one of them um, said no, but forwarded my email to their esports department, who said, I'm not, and they said to that guy, I'm not interested, but are you guys interested in this guy? Because he's got a few things he's got call of duty medal of honor the naughty dog stuff like he's got some stuff in his um medal of honor i gotta talk about that um <laughs> he's got some stuff um in his resume and maybe it's interesting so they reached back then it's bookwald uh b-u-c-h-w-a-l-d i had a meeting we flushed some things out and they're now my managers my agents but they're my gaming agents so they'll find me work in the gaming world they're not my literary agents I sent them two packages, well, one package, and half of it was my uh, game stuff, so an example of the game writing I do, and the other half was some of my literary stuff, a screenplay, a couple of plays, a TV pilot, stuff like that. I have enough um, uh, of my writing now to show it, although I need more because I, some of the stuff I have in my writing pack is older stuff, and I'm a better writer now, like old, old stuff, like 10 years ago. I'm a much better writer now, so I've got to keep going with that. Anyway, they looked at my stuff, although I don't know if they did. I think they just looked at my resume and said, we could probably sell this guy. Um, they sent me a contract. I had a lawyer look at it. I didn't like the contract. Well, no, it was a good contract. There were just a couple of things that we needed to change. Sent it back. They said, absolutely fine. We had a Skype meeting. We talked to each other. Now they're my agents. And I love them. They're really nice guys, actually. It's really cool. This guy's called Alex Robles at Bookworld. Very nice guy. Um, we're both excited. Um, so I now have an agent for my gaming world, which is the last place I thought I would need one because I don't really understand how it works. But I'm getting desperate, so I'm like, yeah, you know what? I hate chasing work. I hate chasing work. Just, just not in me. I know it's just why I'm not successful or more successful or whatever. This is why I'm kind of stuck, I think. And that's exactly what they do. So that's great. I'll pay them 10%. That's why I'm paying them ten percent. Um, they asked for twenty, actually. But you know what? That when I first saw that, I think old me would have seen that and thought, "The liberty! How dare they!" But the new me is like, "Well, good, because I want them to be like that with other people. <laughs> I want them to be bold and forward and say, no, we want more money.' So it's good." I said, "No," I said, 10 percent." They went, "Okay." <laughs> so I like them. I think it's a good sign. You know, it's a bit of a Jerry Maguire moment, a bit of a show me the money moment. Um, whether we can work, whether it will help, whether anything will happen, I don't know. We had a strategy meeting where we sat down and we talked about possible places I could go to work. I don't know how favorably my industry looks on agents representing people. Um, and I'm always going to feel the shame that I'm not good enough to have representation. But my resume does speak differently of that, you know. Um, and if you've worked with me and you're watching this, and you're thinking the same thing I am, which is like, why has he got an agent? He's not done enough. Well, you maybe have done enough and you deserve an agent too. Maybe, you know, that's what I'm trying to look at it as. I'm trying to make a break. I'm trying to do something that pays enough money so I don't have to worry about it all the time. Anyway, I have an agent now, okay? So I asked them to send my stuff onto their literary department, which they said they have and they said they'll look into. However, I think they probably already did. And I've, they've already passed on me. Um, but that's really where my heart lies. I like writing for games. I do. I just don't like pursuing the work. Um, and it's also 
it's very chaotic. It's very chaotic, you know, because the industry hires a lot of young people because they're the only poor fuckers who will work for those kind of, the kind of hours that are requested. As you get older, you're like, that's ridiculous. That's not fair. I have a life. You can't take my entire life for this job. Young people don't feel like that. They're like, no, this is my life. You know, so there's a lot of young people in the industry. A lot of college educated people also, which is, you know, when I first started in the business, you didn't need a degree. Now you do. Um, and you really do. It really helps. Uh, not just to get employed. It's actually one of the few things in college it is worth studying. Isn't that crazy? But you are going to get a job if you've studied computer science or, you know, whatever, the various different things. I don't know if actually having a study in games specifically helps you, game development. I wouldn't hire someone for that, but you've got to know computers. You've got to know how to program and code and engineer to some level. You have to. So it really, you do need that education. Um, anyway, so I've got an agent. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, we had the strategy meeting. Uh, we're going to hook up again next week. Um, I tried to make it clear that I'm not a very phony guy. I'm an emaily guy. Um, and even then, I'm not much of those either. But we'll see. We talked about opportunities. We talked about the Chinese market, you know, possibly westernizing some scripts, which I think I'd be really good at, actually, because I have a very good eye for plot. Um, I mean, I did the Black Ops plot. It was a really good plot. <laughs> it really was a good plot. But I still see people commenting about it. So I know it was a good plot, you know. Um, um, and the character, Reznov, written by Craig. Craig, fuck, I can't remember his name. Houston, Houston, for the original, was a great character. So that's also a huge part of why people like that plot, just because he was in it. Anyway, I'm good at plot. I'm good at dialogue. I'm good at characters. I'm getting better at all of that stuff. And I think westernizing a Chinese idea would be, uh, is, could be very lucrative, quick turnaround, and I could do it very well. So we're looking into that. And then we looked into some of the standard companies. But I don't know. I don't know. You call up um, uh, Blizzard, because he mentioned he knows someone's at Blizzard, um, and say, hey, I have this right here, I'm his agent, would you like to hire him? I, I think most companies go, no, no, we don't do that. Here's what we pay, we pay 100 grand a year, and you take that or not. I don't need an agent to do that part of it. I don't need to pay 10% to someone to do that part. But if they can call them up and talk it through and I get, you know, 200000 for the job, then, oh, great, I love having an agent. Let's bring it in, you know. You really earned your, te your 10%. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, I just don't know how the margins work on that because I know that agents need to earn money and if to earn money, you know, if they get me 200000 a year, that's 20000 a year for them. And that's okay, but it's not going to make them think I'm going to spend six months working with this guy. You know, they need to be earning a lot more than that. So I don't know. It's their business, hopefully, they can figure it out. Uh, and I'm easy to work with. So, you know. Uh, so that was the other big news, is that I got an agent. Yeah, just wanted to do a quick update on that. I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, we'll see.